I think that's where my competitive drive came from was, um, you know, always trying to compete against my older brother, you know, always trying to be at his level. Yeah, the most competitive people I know in my life are actually my brothers and my old man. So I've played touch footy with my brothers and as a family since I was probably six years old. And my dad is still yet to ever lose a game. Um, I think as a young kid, I was super, super, super competitive. Um, and I remember when I first started playing club hockey with Sydney Uni, and I remember when we used to lose our games on the weekend, I would just, I'd be so upset and it would just ruin my weekend. I have one brother. And my family growing up, were a baseball family. So growing up, it was a bit of baseball as well, um, playing with the boys. Um, and my, my younger brother's coming through, mate, if it's basketball, touch, um, tennis, whatever it is, 90% of the time ends up in a fight of some sort. None of us are pretty good at losing, but uh, that competitiveness growing up and always wanting to win has definitely helped. I can remember a few times I was crying, you know, saying that he cheated. You know, you're always trying to get your, your, your old man's impression, you know, you, you want to try and impress him, but then when the brother wins, you know, you're never happy. I got stuck into karate. I was actually getting bullied at primary school, so mum took me to learn a bit of self-defense. Never did anything, obviously, but it was nice yeah. to have that confidence. I was always that kid at home that would just want to win all of the board games. And if I lost, I would be so grumpy and I'd be trying to hold it together and trying to be a good sport. Good to always have someone to compete with, always someone to play sport with. But once you get into professional sport or any sport in general, um, you don't meet many people that aren't competitive. Society kind of tells us that we need to be good at losing um, or good losers. But I feel like I've gone from being okay at losing to being good at losing to the point where I'd be playing club in Perth and, you know, we'd lose a game and I'd be like, oh, okay, well now I just guess I just go and enjoy the rest of my weekend. And I think, I think that's something that I've kind of lost that I think I need to get back. But I've been, you know, playing a lot more board games and trying to like, you know, get into those situations where I used to be really competitive. Just to be a leader, you have to be leading by your actions. And um, you know, I think for me, having objectives to achieve throughout the week, um, you know, to give you all the confidence to go out there and deliver what you delivered throughout the week is, is key. It's all about going into competition and going into games and knowing that you've done 100% to prepare uh, for whatever you're doing, whatever game you're playing. But I would always tell young kids to back what they're good at, back their instinct. And I guess I've got the mindset of um, I can offer something different and that's what I'm going to try and be really good at. In anything, I'm pretty driven. So I like to get the best out of myself with everything that I do. So it's just that always finding something new to work on because, um, you know, you there's always more to work on. Never be happy with what you've got, you know? Yeah. <laughs>